Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to the Sexy Brutal. So last time, we discovered that we don't really have any friends in here because the person I thought was trying to help us threw us off a balcony. I'm so tired of being thrown off of things. But I suppose we still have some lives to save out here and also at some point I'd like to, you know, figure out what's going on and maybe get my own mask off. So let's keep looking around. What is the deal with this? A vending machine that spits out ready-made martinis. What a glorious concept. It sounds like it would be messy, though. Seeing the spirits behind the bar floods your mind with possible drink combinations. Lafcadia, are you a little bit of an alcoholic? Oh, what's up? Grayson Grayson, the Lightfinger Locksmith, and Red Rockridge, the Gentle Goliath. Sixpence was in both of those images. Was he in the images of the other people that we saw? I don't remember him appearing in the other people's images. A spiky box with a big padlock. This is not the only one of these that we've seen. Huh. What happened to the power? This is unusual. Let's uh, see if we can catch up with whoever that is. Oh, hey, the theater. Who is that walking in the other room? I can just imagine him now, so pleased with himself. Hiding a safe behind a picture! What an idea! No young whippersnapper would ever think of it. I am so clever in my stupid wheelchair. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> I mean, that's not what he's like. Well, maybe a little. Bingo! I make this look easy. But no one else on Earth could crack that lock. Now, let's see what we have. What is it? God damn it! That is not an egg! He was looking for an egg? Like a Fabergé egg, or just like a really tasty egg? What kind of egg would you put in a safe? It would have to be delicious, right? Uh-oh. Oh, a ghost is coming. Whew, it is cold here. Okay, we gotta get out of here. I'm going, I'm going. You don't gotta start the spooky music. Actually, we should probably watch what that guy does. Ah, there you are. Egg ho, Grayson! I have visual on egg. That thing, that's the egg? How did you think that was gonna fit in a safe? Sweet mother of pearls! I take it this is the egg? I mean, I guess. It's the egg to end all eggs! Look at it! Bloody Lucas, I knew he had it. That crazy rich bastard. Wait. Grayson, wait. Something's not right. Yeah, like the size of that egg. Show tonight. Wasn't it going to be some kind of awful death-defying escape? Red, in all seriousness. This is all time that I could be spending getting a closer look at that egg. No, man, look at those spikes! And those, what are, are those electrical pylons? Oh, they are. Look, we can just check to make sure nothing is, like, plugged in before you get in the awful death, ca awful death cage, please? <sighs> Fine. You check that way, I'll take these rooms. Let's go make sure this is all off or disconnected or whatever. What would I do without you to look out for me, Red? Let's probably get electrocuted is what. Well, I'm gonna go over there, obviously. Although, I just want to see... Can't really hurt to just take a look. Well, we know he doesn't die here. I mean, it might not even really be the true Moloch egg, and... Oh, sweet lord, it is! Look at it! Gods, that fat braggart Orum. If his ancestors really were involved in making this, the craftsmanship, it's just... Wait. Hey! My hands! What is this? Oh! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good for him. Hey, who's there? Red? Yeah, this is... Oh, dear. But the clock says he doesn't die for some time. Grayson, what? Why is the electricity on? Someone locked me in here! What? Who? I don't know! I didn't see... Well, I can't get the cage open. 
My hair is standing on end just being near the door. Red, my hands are trapped. Really trapped. What do you mean? Are you hurt? No, it's just, like, metal bands that snapped over my hands. Can you get to your picks? No, his hands are... No, I can't get to my... <laughs> I can't get to my picks. Well, if I can get in there, I can snap those bands, I'm sure. And break the egg? Are you crazy? It, look, uh, it's fine. I'll be fine. Just go find that bastard who locked me in here and get the keys. Uh, or see, no, he didn't say keys. He said something about his knees. Probably break his knees. I don't know. The text goes faster than my mouth does. What the hell is that? What the hell's what? What do you see, man? Uh-oh. I think we may have found the, sto the stage show. Welcome to the Sexy Brutals, uh... They're, yeah, they're starting the show. This is bad. I don't like this. I am now officially not having fun. Red! Red! Gray, what's happening? Oh, no. Whatever crazy show they had planned, it's starting! I think I saw those spikes move! Yeah, he's dead, for sure. He is extremely trapped. Don't tell me you'll get me out! Do something! Well, it's a magic show, right? The magician would have an exit! Red, I don't know! I didn't design this insane shit! Just get me out! I want out, now! Yes! Great, look! There's a trap door! I mean, he's stuck to the egg, dude. It looks like there's a padlock, but you can pick that easy, right? I could pick any lock in my sleep! Except, my hands are stuck. Our bold magician is ready to perform his finale. The spikes of death descend. What? The spikes of what? I mean, you know what they're spikes of. Come on. Red, get me out of here. Get me out of here, please. There's a switch backstage. Maybe that will shut it down. I'll be right back, Gray. I won't let anything happen to you. So this is where we would intervene. I have to shut this down. I can't do anything with the electricity. Yeah. Um. We're getting close to that time. There's a ghost over here in the corner. This is not happening. This is not happening. Unfortunately, it's looking pretty close to his buddy's time to go. Yeah, this is bad. So we need to... Uh, can we get... No, 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 don't go in there. Actually, it probably doesn't matter. He can't see me. But I also can't move. Oh, there we go. That was weird. You try to figure out where his buddy went. Grayson, this has to work. Come on, please. Alright, he pulled that switch. Is he gonna activate the trap door beneath his feet? Grayson! Grayson, I'm sorry, I couldn't stop it! Oh no, okay, actually, we can just go in here. I was gonna say, it's gonna be very awkward for us to get back to that door in time. What, what are you doing?! No, Red, don't! Oh, that's not the good way to... That's the power fluctuation. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Oh, this is a very grim scene indeed. Well. That seems preventable. I hear a door. I thought I heard a door. Oh, so brutal, but don't despair. Look! Oh, I don't know if we want to look. Uh, he's basically fine. He's exactly as he should be. Well, now that's... That's a little grim. Alright, hold on. Wait, why is the room... Who's in there that would see me? Oh. Is he still alive? His mask is still... active. Okay, not anymore. I know this is grim, but I kind of just want to go in here and... Yep. Up close, Red is an enormous man, and there's something in his shirt pocket. The inside of the cage is a horror show. Grayson's eyes stare lifelessly, and there's a stench of scorched flesh. Gross. But yeah, so I guess you do have to interact with everybody's body to get their invitation? Hmm, some of them I don't know how we would have managed that. Maybe it's not always the case, it was just the case with the two that we've managed to get. But hey, we can at least learn something about one of our, uh, one of our new charges. 
Red Rockridge, the gentle Goliath. Though his brother Clay was the prize fighter in the family, it was never in dispute that Red was simply in a different league when it came to sheer physical power. But Red never had any interest in conflict. His skillful musician's hands and imposing stature uh, made made helped him make an extraordinary and popular head croupier at the Sexy Brutal. At the party this year, he is accompanying Grayson Grayson on his search for one of the Marquis's treasures. Red might not approve of the plan, but he would follow Grayson to the ends of this world and the next. Well, let's see if we can't prevent them from having to go through that horrible thing. The seating, arrange the seating and arrangements are classic speakeasy. It's cool and effortless. Books on exotic cocktails and liquors. This place is very... Uh, focused, this room. <laughs> a sturdy cast-iron popcorn machine. Seems like any theater-goers would be well taken care of. Yeah, so we gotta figure out the mechanism of that trap. Can I inspect the egg? Actually, hold on. Let's look at these things first. Running your hands over the upholstery of the chair is soothing. It is soft and inviting. I hear feet... The theater is laid out for the relaxed comfort of the audience, not for maximizing seating space. I hear feet. It sounds like it's coming from the left. Might be somebody in a couple rooms over or something. What is this? Oh, it's a place where I can hide. There is a trap door over here, secured by an enormous padlock. Well, we've seen a few of those. An enormous jeweled egg. The craftsmanship is unearthly. That's a strange way of describing it. This gilded cage looks ornamental, but it is extraordinarily strongly built. The column is enormous and hums with power. It feels like a lethal amount of electricity is crackling under the surface. That's an interesting feeling. The marble statue is flawlessly carved. Behind the cards, her face is in anguish. Why would you do that? Why would you make that statue? The statue is inscribed with Carrington. Most of the statues throughout the mansion bear the same name. Yeah, we're well acquainted with that reality now. What's this switch for? Wait, Red? Red, did you say something? What is this switch for? The power is off. Hmm. Book's mostly about Eric Weiss and Nikola Tesla. Well, somebody here is uh, trying to project a certain image. A clothing rail with several different costumes arranged on it. And then... We've seen this we haven't seen the room beyond it though. I'm assuming we'll have to use our uh the power of our stolen voice here at some point. There's a large golden lighter in the safe. It's warm to the touch. Oh hey, we finally got a lighter. This desk is plainly built, but absolutely flawless in its simplicity. The writing paper is monogrammed L. Bondus. I'm assuming that's Lucas. Still don't know much about him. Well, all right, shall we? Oh, it's just a card. I was kind of hoping it would be a thing that was, you know, mission relevant. King of Hearts, I guess we'll take it. But... Papers on the desk include bills for stage construction, catering, and renovations. Books on music composition. So we're back down on the first floor. Hmm. There's certainly been some places with some candles. I'm assuming this is just going to tell me that this was carved by, yep, another Carrington statue. This one has a tiny chip in it. The imperfection makes it feel more special. Okay. There's a chill in the air that wasn't there before. 
nice to be able to finally interact with these things, although I didn't see a ghost in here at any point. When you turn away from the statue, you could almost swear you see a flicker of movement. That's actually very disconcerting in this place. There's a playing card in that fireplace. I suppose it would burn, but it doesn't seem like very good fuel. The painting is skewed on the wall. Looking at it for too long is increasingly irritating. So why can't I just fix it? The chest is an ornament. The mirror is polished to a dazzling shine. Its marble setting is also flawless. Also, I don't appear in it. Interesting. I can't, uh... I can't look through this door. Who are these people? Impossible. The partner. Alone. The off switch. Linked. Paired. It's bloody impossible for that one bloke to turn it off on his own, alright? Aha. He'd have to pull both switches on opposite sides of the cage. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. Run, 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 run. Okay. Well, we can certainly help with that. What a wonderful thing for us to have accidentally overheard. Also, apparently that mirror is a secret door. Oh, ghost. I don't have time for you right now. I don't know what... I don't know how to time... I don't remember. Hold on. We can use the, the time-o thing to scrub through the time and figure out when exactly it is that he pulls it. What's well, somewhere around... Yeah, 9.30... Okay. Honestly, I'm just going to stay here jamming on... The, I'm going to jam, jam on this switch until we fix it. It's good luck for us that we overheard those guys talking. Just keep jamming on this thing. He's over there at 9.30, but I don't know if he pulls the switch at 9.30 or if it's he pulls the switch first and then he has a little bit of dialogue, so he's standing there. So I'm just going to jam on this thing until it works. Probably the game will give us a pretty large window. But that does not mean I'm ever going to stop pulling this. Alright, 9.30. Uh, it's not... Nothing's happening. Mm, we must have to do something else as well. Just keep pulling. <laughs> nope. That is the sound. Well, it would have been a little bit too easy, I suppose. Alright, we'll figure it out. Inside the desk are notes and lighting design for the stage. Yeah. Well, that's no good. How do we... How do we synchronize with him better? And might there be some other thing that has to happen? I guess we've been over here. Hold on. Let's go back to the rooms that we ran through. So we were in a real hurry to get to this power switch, and I didn't search everything. Desk is filled with details on the various shows that have taken place in the theater over the years. The shelf contains blueprints on complex traps and tricks. Co-signed by Lucas Bondus and Thanos Gorecki. Alright, well... 
The bookshelves are filled with texts on stage shows and magic, including a signed first edition of Carter Defeats Satan, a biography of Charles Carter. This is uh, quite a dude. There's a seating area, presumably for guests waiting for the show to start. Alright. Yeah, defeating Satan's, like, fairly impressive. Sort of expected it to be a comic book from the title, but a biography works too. Alright. I want that lighter. There are definitely ghostly presences in this place, and I want to know what they have to say. I'm certain the Marquis would be keeping it in there. I know, you've said. Why do you want this, this egg? Why do you want it so badly? I told you, it's not just an egg. It's THE egg. It's the Moloch egg. What was that? I told Lucas this place was falling apart. Oh, maybe the normal power circuits have been interrupted, and that's what that is. And we have to restore the normal power before we can, uh... Before we can use the switches the way they're intended to be used? Maybe. I mean, it's also possible that I just didn't do a good job, right? So there's nothing in here now, right? Yeah, okay. Still, it was fun to break it. Alright, so we need these, do these two to leave. So the Marquis in a wheelchair, huh? Then he's not the guy with the gold mask. The gold skull mask. But I don't know... Hmm. We still have a lot of questions. I need to know some things about Lucas. I need to know some things about the person who is calling himself Thanos on purpose. Like, it's a cool thing to do. And then also... I mean, Thanos M Gorecki could be the Marquis. We don't have any idea what the Marquis' name is, do we? Lucas could be the Marquis, I suppose. Uh, the door just opened. They don't see me. It's fine. I would think that ghost might have revealed me, but apparently not. Now, there's no candle in here for me to light, but we will grab the lighter. Oh, the safe is entirely empty. Did I not lose the lighter when I went back? Has it been huge in the lower left-hand corner of the screen and I've just been ignoring it this entire time? Because that does seem like uh, the kind of thing I would do. Alright, hold up. Where are the candles in this area? So they're marked pretty clearly on the map. There's one in here. Let's just hang out with this ghost. I'm going to follow this ghost wherever he goes. I bet he's going to the room with the candle, actually. At least I hope so, because I don't know how I'm going to interact with him otherwise. Hey, hi, excuse me. Ah, you there, Lackey! Will you go and tell those bloody idiots to turn the power back on? They've been buggering about with the electrics in the basement. But tell them there's a circuit breaker behind the bookshelf in the Northeast Library, right here. Lucas, bless him, had this whole place secretly wired up for the Big Magician show. He was such a fan of the disappearing acts. Great love of drama, you know? Anyway, shut up. You're boring me. I don't know that I said anything. Okay. So there's a hidden circuit breaker over there. So we gotta go flip that and then we can do the switch thing? It said the power was off when I pulled the switches. And I don't know what I thought it meant. I was just kind of like, well, that doesn't sound relevant to my situation. Let's ignore it. Listen, it's been a long day. My level of uh, ability to observe things is... The book sits out of place. The secret is revealed. Okay. Okay. Yes, that's good. Now we gotta get out of here. Because we need to be at the other switch in a real hurry. Uh-oh. 
Oh yeah, we don't know who Orem is either, do we? Because now we have full names for Thanos and Lucas. I know that they're not Orem. Oh, hey, how you doing, buddy? Never mind me. Oh, he's watching. The lock? Secure. The mission? Success. Superb! These two have a real Tweedledee Tweedledum thing going on. The other? Absent. A problem? An irrelevance. Oh, I'm about to have a problem. Get in here quickly. Oh, that's not a that's not a thing I can hide in. Oh, I probably shouldn't be in here either. Actually, this might be fine if they don't come down the stairs. For some reason, whatever it is that makes the masks notice me and try to murder me doesn't work over very slight elevation changes. Okay, so he'll run out of here in a second. And then we will just, uh... We'll watch through here till he runs into the other room to pull the switch. We'll go back and jam on that switch, and maybe it'll, uh, work this time. I'm not sure how much this is actually going to do. It's going to turn off the power, but it might not get him free of the egg. We might have to uh, assist them a little bit more. Maybe Grayson... Hey, Grayson can... If Grayson can get into the cage, he can snap the bands, and then they can get out through the trapdoor or whatever. Or I could get out through the trapdoor. I don't think he's quite ready to perform his finale yet, in fact. All right, you better you better go. You better run, buddy. Go. Hey, hey, get a move on. Yeah, we're not gonna let anything happen to you, Red. Oh, I guess we could wait until the switch turns green, probably. Well, it's remaining green. He must have pulled the switch while mine was resetting, and then it just remained green for... For to let me know that it was now time to pull. It was weird, because it didn't... It turned green when I pulled it, and then just did, didn't turn back. Oh my god, it stopped! Yeah, everything's fine. Red, what are you doing? The door is still locked! Yeah, that's not a problem, apparently. Honestly, they didn't make that guy look much bigger than anybody else. I forget what a total brute you are. Get these damn things off you. God, that's better. Ooh, this is a nice piece of music. So we're going to get the lockpick power now. Check out the size of that dude's chin. Laffy, old boy. I was in a bad way back there. Did you do something, Lafcadio? Did you help me? Thank you. Come on, Red. The bar is calling. I think you guys should leave immediately. That's quite enough drama for one day. We should all leave immediately. If I could get around this place on my own, trust me, I would be out of here. Unfortunately, about half the doors are on fire. Nobody else seems to be bothered by this. Ah, well, that was a pretty straightforward one. Oh, hey, it's you again. We're not friends. I'm taking. I'm not taking your advice right now. You pushed me off a thing. Boone! He was here, wasn't he? Then why? Yeah, no, I'm done with you. I'm taking this mask. I'm just going to go solve problems on my own. 
Okay, Boone didn't really put that on his head. He just sort of put it near him. Seems to have worked, though. Grayson's light-fingered touch. A professional thief-turned-security expert, Grayson is an unparalleled locksmith. Grayson's mask allows you to crack physical locks within the mansion. Open padlocks and safes by using the power when the prompt appears. Okay. We've definitely seen some things that we could use that on. Grayson was a very, very talented safecracker. He used his gifts to create many of the systems in the mansion. We will not find many locks that can keep their secrets from you now. Not many, but some. You have to go. Yeah, story of my life. Okay, so there's a chest upstairs in the aquarium area that we couldn't open before. There's the chest that we saw down here just now, which I guess we'll, we'll grab because we started in the room with it. Alright, what have we here? A card. The box has been unlocked. There's something inside. Sort of. That technically fits the definition of something. So hold on, how do we get back upstairs? Oh, the bell tower. The gigantic bell mounted in the heart of the mansion was once used to mark significant events taking place throughout the day. It is, made by, it is made of a bronze and gold alloy, which was crafted by Orum Runes to produce a mellower sound than usual. Okay, we've seen that last name before. His name was on one of the statues somewhere. Oh, one of the big statues outside the casino area, right? Despite this, it can still be heard clearly in every part of the mansion when it is rung, no matter how far away the listener. Orum was unsettled by the bell, however, as he said the note it gave was far more haunting and sad than he expected, no matter how he shaped and reshaped it. Yeah, there's some serious otherworldly weirdness going on here. I pressed escape to get into the map, and then I totally forgot what I was doing. So we need to go upstairs. Uh, Wait, how did I get upstairs? Let's see here. In here... So right here is the treasure chest I'm talking about. The staircase was in this room, which would be here. Okay, down from the clock room. Got it. Except that I am not permitted to go this way. Can I go around? Hmm. There don't seem to be a lot of external doors. Can I get into... Oh! The, uh, the trap door. Yeah, what's-his-face said that he should easily be able to pick the lock on it, and now I should be able to easily pick the lock on it. All right, well, I guess it's better than being here for all of eternity. A painting of sunflowers. Their petals are turned inward, like teeth. Hmm. Well, that's pretty gross. I suppose I should, like, listen and look around instead of just running from room to room when I don't know where I'm going. A book called The Killer 7 catches your eye. The illustrations have an unusual art style. Yeah, Killer 7 has an unusual art style already. All, all right, rather. A collection of stories about talking animals. A curious thing to collect. In one, in one of them, a playing card is being used as a bookmark. Where are we at on playing cards now? Doing pretty well, I imagine. Eh. Not even half yet. Ooh, that's an interesting painting. A painting of a dragon is mounting, mounted above the cabinet. It was drawn either by a master expressionist or a very small child. Sick burn on expressionism, I guess?
These two barrels smell off. Maybe the ale went bad. Yeah, I'm sure it's a little more complicated than that. I can't just pop those up. Figures for everything sold in the bar. There seems to be two sets of ledgers? Ledgers? Is it possible that somebody was embezzling from the Marquis and it drove him so mad that he trapped us all in an infinite murder casino? Enough beer to drown a small army, unless they're northerners, in which case it's enough for a morning's refreshments. The selection of wines are extraordinary. It would be a struggle to find a single bottle worth less than hundreds, if not thousands, of pounds. Also, apparently we're in England. I don't think I knew that before. You found the secret door to the bar. An empty keg of what smells like brandy and some knocked over stools might well be related. Oh. Seemed to have triggered the next chapter. Thanos Gorecki, the Blueprint Prince, and Orum Runes, the Midas Giant. Well, that guy has a has a gold mask, but I don't think it's the one we saw earlier. It doesn't look like a giant skull. It kind of looks like a it kind of looks like he might be part of Daft Punk, honestly. Okay, welcome back to here. Alright, what's up, fellas? Why are all of the ghosts wearing tricorner hats? He is whistling, I guess is what that is. Hmm. I cannot interpret whatever it is. You know, I'm taking this record off the thing. Are we still all talking in music? Okay, here we go. Welcome to the bar, friend. Every cocktail we serve here is made with a different variety of venom. Just a drop, mind you. But it gives the drinks a, ki a kick like you wouldn't believe. The Marquis is a connoisseur's connoisseur when it comes to freaky drinks. All these creatures here, everyone's venom adds a different flavor. And down in the casino, the thing he's been growing down there? I mean, wow! It's like... All right, I think you've had quite enough. That's very interesting. What were you about to say? All the drinks here have amazing names. And have poison in. Did I mention that? If you don't know the password, you don't get through. Alright, jeez. Uh, we probably want to get to a clock. Hey. Is he always going into one of the fire doors when we see him? He's definitely always leaving the room, at least. Alright, let's, uh, let's set this to be our new spawn spot. Alright, let's go, uh, let's go scream out this window in this room. I'm curious if it'll let us outside. I'm sure we won't be able to get off the grounds, but... I am curious, is there, like, a big hedge maze, or... Ooh. It is nice out here. This garden has been perfectly cultivated. It is clearly a labor of love. Something fell from the clock tower. Oh, yeah. It's hard to make out in the flower bed. I bet it's a body. It's just a feeling I have. A beautifully tended flower patch. There are carved flowers in with the real. There's also a playing card. Most of these are not very well hidden, but there's just so many of them. Say so this, the game has some uh, performance hitches. Weird stuff, like when I try to open doors and leave areas, it hangs a little. The water from the fountain is more soothing than you imagined possible. Just sitting in the fountain, huh? I do think it's weird that that would be particularly soothing. Man, the grounds of this mansion are large. There's no real path here. It's just the one tiny little house. What they're trying to do there is tell me not to go waste my time looking around the edges of the area for a door. So, I have decided to do it anyway, out of spite. 
And this is someplace we are not allowed to go. The door is marked with a teardrop, and it will not open. But we can have ourselves a little peek. Oh. I believe that bassinet is empty. Oh, that woman is extremely pregnant. The bassinet will soon not be empty. Well, there's a giant boar head on the wall. Weird stuff. I'm sure we will uh, discover the significance of all this in time. I mean, I assume that place, that little place belongs to either the Marquis or somebody who is of great import in the casino because of the giant chair uh, that had, I don't know if that was a chair or a mirror or what it was, but it had the card suits on it like it was a splayed hand of cards. Okay, so we've been down here before. Yes, the hidden passage. Let me think. We've definitely seen some candles down here. I guess let's go have a look at that candle. Let's see if there's a ghost around there. Oh, hello. You look like a man of taste. Is this guy going to try to sell me something? Are you headed to the main library? Would you see if you could find me a decent mystery? Something devilishly tricky. A real noodle scratcher. If you happen to find such a thing, would you bookmark it for me? Here, use this. I won't, no, but I'll take that. That'll keep me going for a while. Okay, so we still don't really know what the significance of, the, of these big slot machine things is. Statue's arm has locked into place and cannot be moved. I assume that they're locking or unlocking a door or something somewhere in the mansion. Was this? Oh, it's locked. Or rather, it was. I was going to say, how did I not go through this before? But yeah, it probably had to do with that giant padlock. Well, we seem to have found the library. That's weird. The case contains some very smudged diagrams for an enormous golden clock. Collected songs by Tequila Bell. The enti this entire wall of books are filled with a set of encyclopedias, top to bottom. The level of detail must be quite extraordinary. The first edition of Grayson Grayson's autobiography, I prefer the term Treasure Hunter. A signed copy of Collected Scriptures by Trinity Carrington. It also contains a braille version. The shelves are filled with tomes on everything from history to poetry. I'm sure that I prefer the term Treasure Hunter thing is a reference to something. Is that something Indiana Jones ever said? Honestly, my initial instinct was... Uh, lock from Final Fantasy VI, but that might be a reference a little too obscure. Ah, oh, there's a playing card on the ground over there I was trying to get to. Alright, well, I'll tell you what. The very first thing we're doing is going back to that room. Because we still haven't even found the two people we're supposed to be caring for here. Oh, this isn't the right way at all. So this thing is, uh, it's very lit up and green. And then when we pull the arm, it unlights. And that has had no effect on our ability to enter this door. Although, that doesn't necessarily mean that it didn't mess with the door. The fire preventing us from entering rooms seems to be... Oh! Hey, guys! Oh, that's right, we have seen that big guy. But I can help you out and still hope you're wrong. Alright, thank you. Well, that's a wheelchair. We have seen a wheelchair mentioned recently. Alright, let's keep an eye on the wheelchair guy, I suppose. I'm sure we'll end up having to watch both of them to figure out what's going on, but we'll start here. Oh, he said something about being paranoid. 
But no, Lucas should be here. Hold up, which one is this? Thanos Gorecki. I'm assuming Orem is the one with the gold mask, for obvious reasons. Ah, my statues, the secrets you hide. Yes, please talk out loud about the secrets. And where is Elidor? He's not, he's not going to talk out loud about the secrets. It is also very suspicious. I don't like this at all. That dude's hair is freaking me out. Isn't it dangerous to carry that kind of mass around on top of your head? Especially if, like, I don't want to, like, stereotype old people or anything, but his bones are probably not what they used to be. The staff here, they're different this year. Yeah, no kidding. I trust Orum, but not his judgment on the staff. Who's there? Oh, Mr. Gorecki. Are you lost, sir? I know the mansion can be a little overwhelming. Lost? Lost? My family designed and built this mansion, you little sh- mm. I mean, of course I am not lost. <laughs> of course not. Very good, sir. Shall we also pretend you don't know this area is off-limits to guests? I am looking for Lucas. He is my close friend and your employer, so perhaps you- What the hell was that noise? Yes, yes. Audible yawn, sir. Exaggerated looking at my watch, sir. This guy is a dick, but at least he's clever about it. Now, if you'll kindly excuse me, I have, pr I have to pretend I have more pressing matters to attend to. Like a situation with the chamber pots in the guest rooms, for example. Or perhaps helping drag a body out of the chapel. What? What did you say? Nothing, sir. Try not to die horribly while I'm gone. Good day. I like the fact that it, it seemed like the uh, the eyes in his mask narrowed a little bit there. Or, um... I hope you're taking this seriously. I also hope that somebody who's not me should be taking this seriously. Alright, let's head up through this room. Because I'm curious what was in the, the room at the top of the hall there. I mean, aside from the card. Although, obviously, the card is important to me. It's an uh, interesting and extremely ostentatious chandelier. A faded parchment, barely legible at the top, are the Japanese characters for the black hair. Does Lafcadia Boon know Japanese? A copy of The Mask and Other Stories by Robert W. Chambers. It is very, very well read. A first edition of Hoichi the Earless. Hoichi the Earless, possibly. Hey, it looks like there's something behind that shelf. You see that? I'm sure I can't interact with it until I know about it, but I'm pretty sure. Books are crammed into every inch of the tall cases. A Balzac is sticking out slightly. A report on a fisherman who caught a juju guppy, but later drowned himself. Yeah, I don't find that hard to believe. A personal jo diary of Charles Joseph Carter is on display. And this looks like a place where there should be one of those voodoo candles. Well, there is a candle in the chandelier. The table is right underneath the chandelier above. I wish I could just press a button and have the song you know, do, do the song thing, because clearly that's what's going on here. This is mosaic glass. We shatter it, the candle falls, we light it, and then we can talk to this ghost. And he tells us about whatever's behind that bookcase, I bet. But I guess I'd have to get upstairs first? There's a door up there. can't see this on the uh, on the map there's a door up there that leads to this area no idea how to access it probably one of these one of these uh, doors up here that I can't get through unfortunately what am I doing that's not a door over there well I should not just barge through doors 
Oh, hey, that's Orm right there. Ah, this... I can't look through this door. Stupid padlock door. Come on. All right, there we go. So there's a winding key for a clock in here. And also, Orem just standing around. He kind of looks like, uh... I can't remember what they're called. The aliens from the fifth element. Even the hands a little bit. No, don't just go through there without explaining yourself out loud to no one in particular. Well, crap. Yeah, he's out of my hearing range, too. We're gonna have to, uh, find a way into that part of the mansion. But I have no idea how I would do that. Hmm. Let's keep looking around. There's definitely places that we've already been that we should have access to new things in. We also could just go upstairs and find out what's in that... Uh, no, wait. That's right. I can't get upstairs, can I? Hey, you! Hey, Skull Man! Mr. Skullman head skin man. Come on. He seems to be showing up more and more. He's clearly watching us. But I suspect I am not going to be able to catch him. So we need to get into I've already forgotten which room had the stairs in it. This room. Okay. To our right, then up a couple of times. Let's see if we can get upstairs before the end of the night. So I want to see what's in the chest up there. Boy, everything happening in this house has taken on such a... I guess it was mysterious when it was sinister, too. I was about to say has taken on such a sinister tone. It was sinister when it's mysterious. It's more sinister now that I know about it. <laughs> Everything that happen uh, happens in here is much more sinister if you know what it is. Alright, let's at least see what this is before the day ends. Okay, just another card. I kind of thought that's what it would be, given that it's so far away from everything. It almost couldn't be a useful mission item. So how much time we'd have to spend running to get to it. So now the question is, what do I... I couldn't see the ghosts in here before, right? But I can now. Why don't we go see what they have to say? Because I couldn't... But last time I was in there, I couldn't light the candles myself. We are really pressed on time, though. I might not be able to do this quickly enough. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Come on. Uh -huh. Animate faster, Lafcadio. Jolly good show. Oh, well, that was helpful. Oh, well, hello indeed. Come to observe the talent as well, have we? She is such a star. The plunging neckline, the heaving bosom. You can keep that, actually. The real thing is so much more alluring. Wait, the real... Hmm. Oh. Oh. Apparently there are other ways to get people's invitations. Well, let's have a look at that, and I think, unfortunately, we'll have to call it here for today. We discovered the switch rooms. The Marquis is a passionate supporter and enthusiast for theater and the arts. Also, he is an enormous show-off, and loves nothing more than excessive displays of wealth and passion. Yeah, I think we've seen a lot of evidence of that. For the most recent stage production, featuring an enormous gilded cage, he arranged for thousands of volts of electricity to be rerouted into the theater. As a token nod to some form of health and safety, to activate the electricity, two fail-safe switches must be flicked at the same time. It's conceivable that the mechanism could be tampered with, 
meaning that the same process would be needed to turn the electricity off. But the chances of that happening are surely too small to worry about. Yeah, the chances of it happening by accident. When Willow Blue discovered the Marquis had successfully obtained an actual juju guppy, she was filled with dread. Far from being a colorful superstition, these ancient demons will sometimes take the form of a tiny fish in order to get close to people of influence, or who have a lot to lose. Though she never speaks of it, Willow is a true voodoo princess, blessed, or cursed, with the second sight. Knowing the danger the guppy posed, Willow created a powerful lock to the secret chamber where the Marquis had hidden the fish so that no one could enter by accident. The lock will only open to the correctly prepared charm. Old as stones, Grimmaw is the true form hiding behind the, two, uh, the tiny juju guppy that the Marquis bought for his wife as a gift, completely unaware that the legends were real. One of the true voodoo demons of the deep, Grimma resembles a gigantic anglerfish with a tiny colorful guppy as the lure on the end of his tether. Only those with the second sight can see Grimma's true form, but he delights in whispering madness to any who will listen. Willow knew what was really in the tank in the secret chamber, and created special candles that would reveal him for a confrontation, but once unmasked, he proved to be more powerful than she could have imagined. Yeah, she did uh, seem to get in over her head a little bit there, huh? Even throughout her extremely modest upbringing, Tequila Bell had a truly extraordinary voice. The Marquis had long admired her as a performer, and was staggered when he learned that she was the stepsister of T Trinity Carrington. Since she was first invited, Tequila has attended and sung at every masked ball. Her usual accompanist is pianist Red Rockridge, but she and the Marquis would also practice together, sometimes long into the night. You know, for practicing. Although there was never any outward impropriety, these sessions were eventually called to a halt by the Marquis shortly after he met his wife. Okay, well, that's going to have to be it for us for today. I am having a really good time here. Unfortunately, it kind of looks like we're drawn up on the end pretty quickly. I have to imagine, though, that we're going to have some, uh, some of our questions answered soon. Because as it is, I feel like I still know barely anything about what's going on. So... Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you're enjoying the series as much as I'm enjoying making it, which is very much. Uh, come back next time. We're going to try to save Orem and Thanos, and maybe, just maybe, get, I don't know, even one answer about what the heck's going on in this place. And we'll see you then.